Welcome to Creating Donuts in Tableau. Today we'll be showing you how to build a donut visualization and place it on a dashboard. This demo comes from our two-day advanced Tableau class. My name is Patrick Powers and I'll be your host today. At Centurus, I am a data scientist, trainer, and business intelligence consultant. I bring over 20 years of data analytics and business intelligence experience across multiple vertical platforms. Why use a donut? We've all been taught that pie charts are unprofessional or don't bring across the right message. This is typically due to people incorrectly using pie charts. Pie charts should be shown with proportions and more often are confused with magnitude. One alternative to a pie chart is the donut. Donuts don't bring the same stigma and are still able to show us the type of information we're looking to communicate. Let's get right into it. We're gonna build this demo out. Here we have a small data source. It's simply got our regions with quota and sales. We're gonna turn this into a donut that shows us how much left we have till quota and at what percentage we are. Let's create a new sheet. I'm going to rename this Regional Quota. And we're going to start off by creating a calculated field. We'll call it Left to Quota with the formula Sales minus Quota. Now, to make sure that we only get the measures that we want, we're going to take measure names and we're going to drag it into filters. Here, we're going to deselect number of records in quota, just leaving us Left to Quota and Sales which will form our donut. Under marks, we're gonna force this to a pie. Here we see our initial circle that we will turn into a donut. Take measure names and drag it to the color and take measure values to the angle. Here you see we have the start of our pie chart which we will convert. Let's adjust the size and color. Click on the size mark and drag your slider to about halfway so that the pie takes up the entire room. Next, I'm going to adjust these colors, and I'm going to use that more traditional Tableau blue-orange. Take number of records and drag it twice to the row shelf. We're going to change these from a sum to an average, and this is going to line up our two parts of the pie. Right-click the second instance of number of records and select dual axis. This lays the two pies on top of each other. Now, while the two axes should be synchronized, it doesn't hurt to make sure of this. Right click on the second axis and synchronize the axis. We want this to be positioned properly on our screen. So we're gonna right click the left axis, we're gonna do edit axis, and we're gonna uncheck include zero. Next, let's clean up the borders and the lines. In the menu bar, go up to Format, Borders, and we're gonna go and we're gonna get rid of the row divider and the column divider to clean up those grid lines. Close the formatting pane so you're back at your data. In the rows, right-click the first average number of records and uncheck Show Header. Under Marks, select the second mark, Average Number of Records 2, and remove both measure names and measure values from the card. We now have a gray circle on our screen. Under color, set that to white. Click on size and drag the slider to the left, revealing your donut. From the data pane, add region to the column shelf. Now we get a donut for each of our regions. Let's add some labels to this. Right-click Region and uncheck Show Header. Click on the first average number of records in the Marks card and drag Region to Label. Click on the Label mark and we're going to set the font to a 10-point bold and our alignment to Center Top. This puts our label above each of our donuts. In the Data pane, create a new calculated field. We're going to call this one percent of quota. For the formula, sum of sales divided by the sum of quota. 
Now that we have percent of quota, let's format it. Under measures, right click, go to default properties number format, and set it to a percentage, leaving it as two decimals. In the marks card, click on the average number of records two, and drag percent of quota to label. Click on the label mark, click the ellipsis next to text, and we're gonna add a new line and type the words to quota. Up in the columns, right click on the region pill, go to sort, and we're gonna sort this by our percent of quota. We now see each of our regions in a descending order, and we see that we are the closest to our quota in the west region. Now, this can be added very easily to a dashboard. Here we have a completed dashboard where we've got our donuts up the top and a map below showing sales and profit. To this, I've added a dashboard action that allows a user to click on a particular region and zoom in on the map. If you'd like to learn more about dashboard actions, this is also taught in our advanced class. We hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you'd like to learn more Tableau skills, check out all the Tableau training classes on our website at centurus.com slash training slash Tableau dash training. If you enjoyed this video in particular, please give it a like and of course subscribe to our channel so that you can see more of these videos in the future. Thank you.